I hope you guys are all having a good day. Now, let's get right into these news. As you guys saw from the big live stream that Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Gun Media showed about two days ago, it was pretty big. They showed us all the new gameplay. I have a video. I should put it right there. About the skill tree, the, the new perk system, and it's really different now from all other, other the other kind of uh, asymmetrical games. It's so different, and I re I'm really here for it, you know? A new, innovative... I like to see it. Here are the main things we're gonna know about Texas Chainsaw. Now the first one is there will be no penalties for leaving the match. No DC penalties like what DVD added. Now I actually kind of agree with this thing. Yes and no. I'm mostly in the yes part because it's not like DVD where you like you kind of need everybody to work together. Do gens, do this. There's like four different ways to leave. Four or three different ways to leave. You can leave by yourself. It's like super easy. Like if you just like turtle yourself, hide the whole time, you have something, you're fixing it yourself, you take another traps. You can do that yourself and just leave. Uh, of course, it's better to leave with a team because, you know, you're helping people and you probably get more points. It's good to work as a team, not just by yourself because then everyone's like, yo, what the hell, you just left alone. But you can still leave alone, so you don't need, like, that fourth teammate. You don't need that third teammate. You don't need, you can do it solo. You can really do 1v3s. But yeah, that's... That's what I, that's my personal opinion, of course, it might be different for you, you might think, hey, what the hell, why do you leave, we need another guy. Someone needs to distract the killer, someone needs to do these. But me personally, I don't think you really need the other teammate. Now here's the next big thing, no plans for proximity voice chat. Again, another thing I kind of agree with, is this isn't Friday the 13th, we don't really need proximity voice chat. It's not like, um, and I, I, of course, those, those would kind of hinder you in some ways. Like, you'd be like, alright guys, I got the last piece for this, uh, for the gas pump. I'm gonna, we're gonna leave right now, and then you hear the fucking, you hear the cook being like, alright, bet, I'm gonna tell the other face. He's like, oh shit! Like, like, come on. You kinda like, you kinda don't need proximity chat. Especially with a 3v4, you're already hindering yourself at that. Let's go on to the last one, which is, uh, no cross progression. Of course, it's sometimes, it's like, it's dependent on what Sony and Xbox wants. If they wanna have cross progression, it's like, alright, we don't, we don't want cross progression because we're gonna lose money. So we want people to buy new things. Other DVD has it. I still don't think DVD has cross progression. It's really hard for new games like these big games. I guess technically is kind of big to have like cross progression because sometimes just Sony or Xbox they just don't want it because they want you to buy more games. So that is I I I really I'm really doubting that that's ever gonna be a thing in the future. Which is kind of sad if you want to play on PC and on Xbox. And I forgot one last thing, which is a really big one about crossplay. As you know, people love crossplay. You kind of need, like, with these new gen games, now that the new games are coming out, you kind of need crossplay now. Before it was like, hmm, I, I remember one day we'll get crossplay, but now you kind of need it on release. That's how you really get, like, the big platform, especially if your game costs, like, a good amount, which is, this is 40 bucks, but it's not that bad. It's not like a 60, 70 dollar game. But here's the problem. Now, you cannot play with past gens. Crossplay. So basically, past gens don't have crossplay. So if you if you have Xbox One, you know you're like, I don't need to upgrade. There's no Xbox Series S um, exclusives. I don't really care. Well, when you play with Xbox One, you're only gonna play with Xbox One players. You're not gonna find Xbox Series S players. You're not gonna find PlayStation players. You're not gonna find Steam players. You're only gonna find Xbox One players. And I'm gonna tell you, you're probably gonna be sitting in a lobby for 10 minutes trying to find another Xbox One player. But that also goes for PlayStation 4. Now I. I think people still have PlayStation 4s, which I, I understand, kinda, but you're only gonna be playing with those PlayStation 4 players. Now of course, that means that PlayStation 5 players aren't gonna be playing PlayStation 4. So if you're stuck in P Xbox, you know, so you're playing PS5, don't worry, you're not gonna find PS4 players, because they're not gonna be there. If you're playing Xbox Series S, you're not going to find Xbox One players because they're not going to be there. It's not an incentive upgrade, but it's just telling you that you're not going to find people, you're not going to find as much people for playing last gen consoles. So be warned of that if you're going to play Texas Chainsaw and you still have the past consoles. That you will not find as much people, you only find your people. And that's pretty much all the news. I'm really excited for this game. I'm going to be doing a 24 hour stream on this game the minute it comes out. I'm probably going to die halfway there, but who, who cares? It's going to be very fun. I'm going to enjoy it a lot. And I hope you guys join me too. Have a great day, guys.